What's up, guys? Boy, and I'm some cooler. This is Ashton Geek. Welcome to my channel. Like if you like my review. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you are, thank you. If you clicked on this video, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to dive right in. It's so Ready Player One. This is my second movie catch up when I get a movie in digital HD or Blu ray. I watch it. If I didn't get the chance to watch it in the cinema, you know. This movie is phenomenal, and I regret not going to see this movie. I know I was broke, but still. Oh, if I knew this movie was what it is, I expected it to be this. But you know, you have your doubts sometimes because the trailers didn't make this movie the phenomenal masterpiece it is. I mean, like, god damn, this movie's phenomenal. Like, yo, <laughs> like, yo, man, I don't even know how to put this. Like, ah, oh, it's just breathtaking. Steven Spielberg, you did it again, man. You prove why you were legend. You proved why you were legend. Like nobody was doubting it, but you proved that even in this modern playground, nobody, you know, comes close to what you are. Uh, let's go in first to the obviously the visual effects. You know what I'm saying? Stunning as fuck. Like CGI. Like everything is just phenomenal to behold. I mean the texture of each character. You know it's animated but you expect it because they're in a virtual game. You don't expect it to look like vice versa with reality but you expect it to be an oasis. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> this is an amazing movie. The cast is phenomenal y'all. Like yo like ah oh, man Ooh, like <laughs> I'm even still like recuperating for that awesomeness. I've watched it like twice back to back. That's the beauty of having it in digital HD. But I wish I watched it, you know, like full cinema experience, like 3D. Like I think I would have had a nerdgasm right there in the theater. But no, that was too descriptive. But I'm just saying this movie is just phenomenal. Like. Instead of cast members, I mean like, um, uh, what's his name, Ty, I think that's what they do, the name, dude played Wade, who's also in X-Men, him or Olivia Cook, um, even TJ Miller was hilarious, his character did not fit his personality whatsoever, but he was vicious, uh, Lena Wright, his age was cool, um, who else? Uh, Philip and Wynn, Daiko and Shun, they were cool also. A lot of phenomenal characters in this. But obviously Olivia Cook and Ty were the standout people. Was I the only one who was tripping when Olivia Cook was like, you wouldn't like what you see in real life? And I already knew it was her, so I was like, what you say? And it was just like a birthmark. I was like, what you still cute as hell? Like, <laughs> what are you trying to say? Oh yeah, another thing I almost forgot to talk about. The Shining sequence. Mmm. Mmm. That was that uh, the Spielberg genius to it. I don't know if the book has that sequence in it. But damn, the way it looked visually. That was such an homage moment. Oh, that was amazing. Another standout moment. Mega Godzilla vs. Uh, Iron Robot. Versus Gundam. Ah, oh, that was a moment, yo. Like, yo, this movie's phenomenal. That's so meticulous. Like, this is such a reference driven story. Like, this dude who wrote the book is such a mega fan. Respect to this dude. I saw everybody from Malcolm Knight, Batgirl, the Ninja Turtles. Like, I saw so many people, like, references. Joker and Hollywood in it. Like, I'm thinking of a lot of DC stuff right now. Probably would have seen a lot of Marvel shit if this was in the Warner Brother thing, but from that side alone, we were getting the biggest nerdgasms ever. This was such a phenomenal movie. Even the bad guy was cool. What's his name again? Sorrento, played by Ben. Oh, that guy killed his role. Even his avatar was kind of low-key. First I was like, yo, is that Bruce Wayne? Because there were so many DC references. <laughs> was like, yo, is that Bruce Wayne? Is that his avatar? The billionaire, philanthropist type of character. But now nah, it looked like he was just 
a, a buff version of himself, which was still cool. This movie is so phenomenal. The car racing sequence, the DeLorean. Oh man, even the Akira bike. Ah, oh, dog. This is my second favorite movie from this year. Still, Infinity Wars takes the rank because that movie blew my fucking mind because it went places I didn't think it would go. But this movie is up there. I'll give it a hand, y'all. I'll give this movie a 9 out of 10. Phenomenal cinematography, like I said, it's visually enticing. It's reference driven. The story is compelling. The characters, the cast, everything about this Spielberg's magic eye. Even the library. Uh, what's his name again? Uh, that dude's name um, Holiday, Holiday's journals, even that whole concept, how the camera moved through his memories. You saw it. Oh, it's just breathtaking and the non shaky cam works so well. Like the the decisive detail though, like you realize that like even shot where chaos was happening, you saw everything for King Kong from the T-Rex, from Mega Godzilla killing people, to Iron Robot stomping on people, like, ah. Oh. I mean, Iron Giant, I don't know why I keep calling him Iron Robot, but my bad. Oh man, this is amazing, like, yo, this was amazing, 9 out of 10. Same rating as Infinity Wars, just that Infinity Wars tops it because they went there. <laughs> like he, I know it's a two party, probably a lot of those people will come back, but because they went there and making us wait over here to see what <laughs> they gonna do next, that was admirable. That, 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 that's neat. that needs to be movie history. So does this movie. This movie is phenomenal. I feel like watching it again. I just finished watching it. That should tell you something. Same effect with Infinity Wars. Anyway, 9 out of 10. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Deuces.